A bill that weakens and in some cases outright bans vaccine requirements moved forward in Frankfurt today. But there had to be some major change for House Bill 28 to get out of committee. WLKY's Mark Vanderhoff explains the potential impact of the latest version of the bill. This wasn't your typical committee debate here. Many Democrats, of course, concerned that HB 28 will shackle Kentucky's ability to fight COVID-19. But as one Republican put it, there are competing conservative interests at play here. I am glad to advance this bill further um, so that we can provide as broad protections as possible for Kentuckians. House Bill 28 sponsor, Representative Savannah Maddox, says getting a vaccine should be a personal choice. And I think that Kentuckians should be able to make that decision without any type of undue force or coercion from the government, from their employer, or any other entity. Matter before us today, is House Bill 28. House Bill 28 would prohibit any public entity, such as a government agency, from requiring employees to disclose their COVID-19 immunization status, as Metro Louisville currently does. But a new version of the bill no longer prevents private companies from requiring their employees to get vaccinated. The original iteration of the bill, as you said, included private entities and businesses. This does not because of um, pushback within the caucus and, and, and among the community. The original bill applied to any vaccine, whereas the new version only applies to COVID-19 vaccines. House Bill 28 would allow parents to opt their children out of COVID-19 vaccine requirements, and it prohibits colleges and universities from requiring students, faculty, and staff to get the COVID-19 vaccine. This is a political ploy, a point of view, that has nothing to do with protecting Kentuckians and everything to do with making a point about how they feel. In the end, the bill passed out of committee on a party line vote. It now goes to the full House for a floor vote. In Frankfurt, Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News. And it passed. House Bill 28 would also ban so-called vaccine passports.